from St. Paul's institutions as we come here today to celebrate the auspicious festival of Ganesh Chaturthi let us take a moment to reflect on the significance of this festival its origins and how we can celebrate it in a way that aligns with our commitments to environmental preservations and unity Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations also known as Vinayak Chaturthi gained widespread popularity during the Indian freedom struggle thanks to the efforts of Lokmanya Bal Gangadhar Tilak. His motive was to unite people of all the communities under the common cause of Indian, India's independence and rebel against British rule. The festival became a platform for social and cultural gatherings, breaking barriers of caste and creed and fostering a sense of unity and national pride. In today's world, where environmental concerns are more pressing than ever, it's important to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi in a way that respects and protects our environment. This year, let us pledge to use eco-friendly idols made from clay or natural material that dissolve in water without harming aquatic life, avoiding plastic and other non-biodegradable decorations is another crucial step. By making these small changes, we can ensure that our celebrations are joyful yet sustainable. Lord Ganesha, revered as the remover of obstacles and the deity of wisdom, teaches us the importance of harmony and balance. Just as Ganesha removes obstacles from our lives, we too can remove the obstacles threatening our environment by adopting sustainable practices. Whether it's reducing waste, conserving water or planting trees, each action we take contributes to a healthier planet. Let's embrace Ganesha's teachings by becoming guardians of the environment, ensuring that our actions today protect the world for a future generation. Ganesh Chaturthi is not just a festival of Hindus, it is a celebration of unity in diversity at St. Paul's we believe in the power of togetherness where students, parents, teachers from different backgrounds come together in the spirit of communal harmony. Let this festival be another occasion for us to reach out the poor and downtrodden, bringing a smile on their faces during this holy time. This festival is an opportunity for all of us to experience the joy of sharing and celebrating our rich cultural heritage, transcending barriers of religion, caste and our creed. Let us use this occasion to strengthen the bonds of friendship and mutual respect. In our fast-paced modern world, the values of Lord Ganesha embodies wisdom, prosperity and the ability to overcome obstacles are more relevant than ever. As students and alumni of St. Paul's, you are the torch bearers of these values in our studies, in our relations and in our service to the society. Let Ganesha's wisdom guide you, his prosperity bless you and his strength empower you to face and overcome any challenges that come your way. Finally, let us remember that festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi are not just rituals. They are about fostering love, compassion and unity. As we celebrate this festival, let's reach out to those around us with kindness and generosity. Let's make it an occasion that everyone feels included, valued and loved regardless of their background. In doing so, we are truly honoring the spirit of Ganesh Chaturthi and carry its message of togetherness throughout the year. On behalf of the Jesuit management, students, staff and the Parent Teachers Association of St. Paul's Institutions, I wish you all a very happy, blessed Ganesh Chaturthi. May Lord Ganesha guide us all on the path of wisdom. 
unity and environmental responsibilities. Thank you. Namaste.